Okay, here we have uh, Ehetula prasina, the oriental whip snake, and I can't tell what, uh, what the color phase is. It looks like maybe green, I can see on the tail, but it could be the yellow, um, probably couldn't be the gray, I can't really see though. Uh, sleeping, this is just how they sleep. I don't know if you can see the very uh, thin branch. There's no leaves on it at all. That's exactly the branch they always choose to sleep. And uh, Mark found this one while I was walking up to get the motorbike. And actually, I already went by this side, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's finding snakes where I didn't find them, so. Um, I'm going to attempt to grab them and put them in the road here so Mark can have a look. Oh, this is your first one, too, yeah? Yeah, awesome. I can maybe grab them with my hands. I hate to do that because if they bite, it's not that it's going to hurt me hardly at all, but I don't want to hurt them. Now he's, now he's waking up. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, give you the camera. So here we go. We put him out on the road. He woke right up, so you can see he's displaying the, um, the pattern on the side. Really cool. That's Mark's uh, first Ehetula persina too. Uh -huh. It's weird with the tongue. <laughs> yeah, it's, the tongue sticks out like that uh, when they're aggravated. It doesn't move. Funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so I first found this one. I think uh, the first one I found was up on the other mountain where we went the other night. Oh, okay. Yeah, but on the path, just during the daytime, they just kind of lay on the path. And there's quite a few of them, man. I found probably a dozen up there. And is this full size? Or? Uh, no, actually, they do get even bigger. So this one's, is, you think it's a meter? I think it's probably a meter, all stretched out. Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe not. Hard to say. No, maybe not. Pretty close, though, right? <laughs> they're, uh, they're mildly venomous, but not um, can't possibly hurt you. Right. But still, you don't want to get bit because the teeth are so fragile. I mean, you... You rip the teeth right out of the mouth. Oh, on these little ones. Really cool. <laughs> you gonna give me a bite? You gonna give me a bing? <laughs> the neck is so thin. It's about it's about one third of my pinky finger. That's how thin it is. So we are at about. I gotta check my watch. I think we're something like 200 meters elevation. And I found these at pretty much all elevations. Is that musk? Yeah. Uh, not way up there, I don't yeah. think. I don't know what that is really. Something under the skin, it looks like. Yeah, so this is one of Thailand's most beautiful snakes. This is a juvenile, it's probably it might be a year old, uh, but they get considerably bigger, you know. I think they get even up to, well, over a meter for sure. And I'm thinking a meter and a half, but maybe not quite that big. I can't remember the exact stat. But the green of the of the head is just fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> And the tail has some red to it, and the tail um, gradually has a real gradual um, gradation, you know, from the mm -hmm. from the thickness of the body. Look how long that tail is and how thin. At the very point, it's as thin as almost like the head of a pin. So these are climbers. They spend most of the time in the trees, but on occasion they'll, they'll hit the dirt and just wait for something to run by and grab it. Just small lizards, I think. Okay, I'll stop the video so I have some more for whatever else we might find. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah. It's always <laughs> good to get something new, isn't it? Yeah.